All right, all right, good evening. I know I get a lot, a lot, a lot of questions, guys. A lot of questions. How can I find my own tokens? How can I find that next gaming token? How can I find that next metaverse token? How can I find the next hottest trend, next hottest coin? Right now, we're gonna kind of start with how I can find a coin, right? And then we'll figure out in another video how we can find trends and follow trends. So for this video, I'm gonna teach you kind of how to find a coin, make sure the coin is solid, and then in addition to making sure the coin is solid, vetting the team, vetting the coin, and making sure everything is laid out the way it should be. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cover that in the next slide. All right, moving into the next part. Uh, typically, I will start with uh, CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap or one of these. That'll be kind of where I'm starting out at, right? I also sometimes start on Google or Twitter. It just all depends, right? If you type in crypto Twitter, you'll get a lot of good info there too, but just watch out for a lot of scams also. Um, so when I'm on um, CoinGecko here, you can see right here on the front page, there's just tons and tons and tons of stuff. You're like, man, how could you dig through all this? Well, really, I mean, in reality, I could go through page by page. Yes, that's that's a fact. And you know how long it would take me to go through 114 pages and try and figure out 100 coins on each page? That, that's it's a very huge amount of time, right? So I need to know what I'm looking for first, right? Um, so once I know the trend, which again, we'll cover in another video, um, I can kind of look for those trend trendy type coins. So I know the trend. So now that I know the trend, we'll say with metaverse tokens, right? I think metaverse gaming, all that's pretty hot. Um, keep in mind, metaverse and gaming go hand in hand, guys. I don't think there's some kind of separation there. All right, um, they go hand in hand. But let's go and let's go with, uh, we're gonna go with metaverse, right? So we're gonna type in here, metaverse. Do you see right there where I went to all categories? And I typed in metaverse and I clicked this, this filter category right here. And what it'll do is it pulls up every coin it associates to metaverse. Does this mean every coin is a metaverse? No, I wouldn't say every coin in here is, is a metaverse. I don't think that that's the case at all. Um, but I do think that a lot of these coins in here are, and they're good coins to be looking at and keeping an eye on. Um, but this would be all the metaverse tokens you'll be able to find, basically, if you were looking for metaverse specifically. All right, now we're gonna move it to the next portion on the next slide. All right, so we've picked the coin. I know Axis Affinity, I could have picked another coin and showed you another coin and vetted it and shown you kind of um, the regular process, but I'm gonna show you through a good coin. I want you to understand what a good coin looks like so you can kind of know when you're looking at a bad coin versus a really good coin. So Axis Affinity, as you can see right here, all the information is filled out, right? We wanna verify all information is filled out, everything looks good. Um, we want to go through, we want to check all these different things right here. Um, do the, you know, does the ether scan look good? Go and you can look at holders, right? So you just click the ether scan, you can look at holders right here. You can see, are there big holders, right guys? The ones with the little uh, tab here to the side, by the way, are contract addresses. These are not somebody who holds a significant amount of the token. These are just contract ash addresses associated to the token, right? Um, so I wouldn't really fear anything like that as far as size, but you can look through the rest of them Again, the Binance 8 and Huawei, the, these are all um, Exchange wallets actually that hold a significant amount as you can see And this is where like when you go to Binance you're able to purchase these these tokens through them uh, Through these exchange wallets. So again, wouldn't really fear too much up here um, This is probably team uh, Addresses and everything else and then everything below that will probably be like um People that actually have allocation in the token, right? So you got all these guys right here. Might be additional exchanges. You got OKEX all the way down here. You got a couple more um, contract addresses down here, probably exchange related. Um, and, and this is basically how you would go through a token and kind of visually see what the holders look like. Is there a significant amount of holders? Is there not a significant amount of holders? This coin has a ton of holders, guys, but um, it, it's a good coin, I would say, in the aspect of the way it's set up, the way it, it's done as far as on here and through the uh, ether scan. So now we're gonna move on to the next slide. So once I've verified all the information here works, and again, you can go through um, community as far as like socials and everything on here. Um, I would recommend maybe doing it through here, but typically I go through the web page. So I start with the web page and I click on here. Just I want to make sure everything works here, obviously, but I want to make sure the web page works most of all. So I click on open the web page, 
And then once I would click and open the web page, it would then take me to the web page and then I can verify from the web page, does everything work, right? I'm going through, I'm clicking buttons, I'm clicking links, I'm making sure everything, when I click something, a reaction happened, right? That's, that's what we need to have happen. If something doesn't happen, when you click a button, then there's probably an issue with the site. There's an issue with the site. How well put together is it? You know, then these are things that you should definitely look at. I like how they had the little join Discord right here, ready to go. They really want to get you in that Discord. Um, that's really good that they want to do that because Discord is a really good um, way to basically socialize and, and share things and interact. I think Discord's a great way to do that. Um, you can see right here, they have all their information right up front, really easy to get to, really easy to see. Um, scroll down to the bottom, lots of cool stuff. You got some uh, different NFT looking photos uh, where they're coming in kind of showing you what, what this game's all about in an easy method. Uh, you got a little bit of uh, motion slash gameplay kind of showing you, the, you know, the, the game right here. You can kind of click on these and see that they work. Um, and then you can scroll down to the bottom and kind of click on these different items and see that all these links work. You definitely want to make sure all these work and all these work, guys. I've seen a couple of these where they're good coins, but the socials don't work. And you have to kind of be like, hey, your socials don't work, and then try to get them to correct it and all that good stuff. And that's kind of throws you off a little bit. But um, it's not something too much to worry about if the coin looks legit. Uh, so you can see right here partners. That's a big thing for me. You always want to look at partners, uh, verify partners, make sure that these people are really partnered with them. Uh, that will save for another video because that's a deep, deep, deep dive. Um, but yeah, for the most part, if they usually they put partners, they usually are partnered. Uh, just be careful of the wording. Sometimes they'll put partners and sponsors or uh, platforms we're working on and partners. And they try to intermix them and try to, you know, pretend that they're partners with other places that they're not. It's a lot of crazy stuff. Um, so after we've done all this and we clicked a few links and we verified things work right here's the marketplace we can verify the marketplace works i can click on this thing it'll show me what it is show me its value i can go through here do whatever i want and it'll show me what its smooths are so everything looks great so from this standpoint everything looks good let's go ahead and let's move on to the next portion all right next portion uh so i go on here i look and oh wow nice they got a reddit right this is unusual so um Usually not not all gaming platforms will have a Reddit. So I go on here, I see that Reddit. I can look, I can see the positivity. Community looks great. Everybody's happy with the coin. Uh, you can read through everything. Um, and that, that shows positivity for a coin. So this is obviously from a standpoint of a coin that's doing really well. Um, and we can go through one that maybe may have more potential, but maybe lower cap later. Again, those ones are a little more sketchy and it's kind of iffy, but um, we can go through that process in another time. So once I verify that the Reddit looks good, I can come over to their Twitter at that point. And one of the biggest things that I really want to look at guys is this, right? You want to verify that they have a lot of people looking at them. Why do you want to verify they have a lot of people looking at them? You want to verify that because if they have a lot of people looking at them, they have really good potential, even on low caps guys. But we also, biggest thing of all, we want to verify these aren't paid bots. Like, cause on Twitter, you can pay for bots to come to your page and populate and follow you and leave just minute content, right? Um, when I say minute content, I mean like, you know, wow, yay, how are you? Amazing. When they're saying stuff like that, I don't think those are real people. When you get stuff like this, where this guy here is writing out an entire sentence, this guy here is writing out an entire sentence, 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 sentence. You can see right here, with all these right here, you can see these are real sentiment, real people. And then you're gonna have some people, you know, obviously get scanned. You're gonna have people complaining about that in the comments. You're gonna have some people complaining about the token, some people positive about the token. That's good. You wanna see positivity and negativity because if you get the combination of the two, it's more realistic than if it's all positive, right? If it's all positive and nobody's complaining, kind of step back and look at the corner and be like, has something not launched yet or, uh, you know, not, nothing's nothing's ever perfect. There's gonna be somebody who's gonna complain. So you should always have complaints. All right, and then we're gonna move on to the next part. All right, next part is going to be moving into the, the Facebook, right? So Facebook is one of the harder platforms, I'll say, to try and get people to follow you on. Um, I've noticed that with crypto, it's really difficult for some reason for people to want to use Facebook to, to follow people and I think you know because decentralized network versus uh, somebody who's tracking you 24 7 on Facebook so I get it I get it 
Um, but as you can see right here, they have a ton of people that like this. They have a ton of people that follow this on Facebook. This is huge, guys. Facebook followers are huge. If The more Facebook followers you got, the more bullish it looks, right? So lots of good stuff there. You can get the content. Uh, verify all the contents of the day too. Same thing on Twitter. You always want to verify that they're constantly posting. They're constantly trying to interact with their community. That's that's the biggest thing. That that's what marketing is all about. Interacting with your community, getting your community excited, getting them hyped, and always keeping them happy with, with what you have going on. Uh, so that would basically cover Facebook. And now we'll move on to the next portion. Next portion, we're looking at their news center. So their news center was from their website, just so you know, right here, their news. Um, so I just want to go through and just look and see if it's populated, see if they're constantly up to. And again, this is another great feed. Uh, these guys obviously put a lot of work and a lot of time into uh, recording everything and keeping a positive community, guys, like really, really positive community. Uh, I keep seeing that running wallet, very interesting, trying to see what that's all about. Um, outside of that, you got the team right here and everything like that, and you got, you know, all this great feed that you can look through and verify, and they, they even have how-to guides, so another great way to look at this. Um, and now we're going to move on to the next portion. All right, next portion would definitely revolve around looking through their white paper. White paper is one of the most important parts of, uh, of a project and understanding the project, right? You want to know the tokenomics, you want to know the gameplay, you want to know the use case of the token. Use case of the token is very important, guys. If it doesn't have a use case, how valuable can it be? AKA Chainlink, don't laugh. Uh, but yeah, that, that's basically how you have to look at it. So Axis Infinity right here. So Axis Infinity, um, basically it tells you right here, right at the start, uh, competing PVP battles, breeding, selling, collecting, farming. I think the breeding is the most unique part about this because you're basically creating an NFT from two NFTs, guys. It's really cool, it's really cool. Um, farming for love potions that are needed to breed axes. These can be sold on exchanges such as Uniswap and Binance. So you can basically farm love potions uh, and then you can trade them off. So gameplay, it basically tells you the gameplay and how the gameplay works and whoa, did not mean for that to happen. Uh, structured as an open-ended digital pet universe, yada, yada, yada. You get all the all the stuff. You can go through here, you can look through all the info. They explain everything really well. Reading an SLP, so they, ex and they explain the ecosystem and how a smooth love potion uh, works within the ecosystem. And then you got uh, Axie's economy long-term. You got land, right? So there's land. And then you've got uh, this Lunacia, uh, Lunacia, yeah, SDK right here. So we'll initially be a map editor where players can use Axie Infinity art assets to create games and other experiences and so on and so forth. So they're trying to create like a game within the game. So it's pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Um, so a lot of good stuff going on with Axies, as you can see. I could go through this whole thing and kind of visually see what's going on. Right here's their sharding ecosystem. Um, you can look through their community, right? Right here, here's a guide to actually community. I mean, look at all this great content they have in this white paper, guys. It's amazing content. Like this isn't this isn't norm for I'd say 90% of white papers. So these guys have done a lot. Um, looking through the roadmap is another important part. Always look through the roadmap, see what they've achieved in the roadmap, and then kind of look and see what they have left to achieve in the roadmap, and then make your judgment off that also. Uh, so you see right here, they've got their Q1, Q2, Q3, or Q2, Q3. So they basically designated all these for 2021, and they've followed through and created all these for 2021. Uh, they have not um, done these ones right here so far, which I think they're in the process of working on. But I mean, at the end of the day, whether these guys achieve it or not, they've already gone so far. I don't know if this would really affect things, but for newer coins, this is a big part. Uh, verifying roadmap and seeing if roadmap looks good. Um, and then team, right? So we're moving to team on the next slide. All right, so team. So we always want to verify the team. That's really huge, guys. Um, so you got, you know, Trung here, who's the CEO. You got uh, Alexander, uh, really, really cool name, spell it that way, by the way. Uh, right here, COO. You got some game designer, CTO, growth lead, all that good stuff. So I went ahead and I already opened all these so you can kind of see them, but like you would just click these and then go to the links. So we're gonna start with the C, kind of the CEO, right? Uh, or actually we'll start with, yeah, Trung right here. So this is Trung Nugent. 
uh, which I believe is his name. He he does have a GitHub, which is really good, guys. So you always want to verify Git because their GitHub, they're they're basically able to code these, you know, be able to create the tokens, create the ecosystem, all that stuff like that. They're they're good with the coding. So a GitHub is really important for some of these guys. I've seen them where they have outside coders, and when you have an outside coder, it kind of makes it difficult. Uh, so you definitely want to, you know, an in-house coder, and especially with it being the CEO. Um, yeah, he's, he, th that's really good for this, right? Um, so this right here is the CEO. He has a GitHub. Um, you can verify the information is GitHub um, and go through his coding and all that good stuff in here. So right, repositories, you got projects. I don't want to go too deep into this, um, but if you know what to look for in this, you would know what to look for. But the fact that he has one is good. Um, and then you can come over here to, this is one of the more important ones to look at. So this is basically LinkedIn. You want to you can go through LinkedIn and kind of look and see, okay, co-founder and CEO, um, software engineer over here, co-founder and CTO over here. So this guy's had some pretty pretty high roles. He's he's a, it's a very go-getter, I would say, by the way, by the roles he's had and stuff like that. F, FPT University. So if you want to verify uh, the school he went to, how good it was, you can definitely look through that. Uh, Bachelor of Science, uh, Computing Software Engineering. So that's that's a really good degree to have for this type of work. So uh, that's that's good. Um, you can come over here and you can look and say, okay, was he endorsed? Yeah, he's endorsed a couple times. So endorsed by two colleagues uh, at Anduin Transactions. So you can always verify those people and look at their information separate too and see how good the companies are that they work at, right? So he looks like his programming language of choice is Rust. Rust programming language and then uh, blockchain. So these are his skills, guys. This is this is key skills to be in the blockchain, right? So this guy's really good. Uh, he speaks English and Vietnamese, so that's good. So he's bilingual. Um, and that's pretty much how I'd look at this. So you got schools, schools and companies, and different companies worked at and schools. Uh, and you can see who he's following, who's following him and so on and so forth. He's got 500 plus connections, that's really good. So once I verify him, then I come over to his Twitter and I kind of look at him on Twitter and I, for some reason, didn't have him followed already. And I can look and say, okay, he has 18.8K followers. Um, really cool, by the way, NFT slash, you know, photo he's got there. Um, so, and look through and kind of see what he has. And if he's constantly on here and constantly updating and active and everything like that, looks like he is uh, for the most part. He's got a lot of cool stuff on here um so yeah i mean this is a good way to verify guys and see okay is are these people active how long have they been on twitter how long have they had a linkedin all that good stuff guys this is a good way to verify uh so then the next guy was the coo and that's this uh this alexander right here and you can go through here he has a ton of followers guys a ton of followers um this guy right here is constantly posting always about axie 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 I mean, he's he's crazy about the project. Really good that he's crazy about the project. That really helps the project to have people that are really enthusiastic about what they're working on. Um, again, LinkedIn looks amazing. He's got a lot of good information on here. Experience, great, 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 great. Um, go through his education if you want. You can look at the school, verify the school. Um, moderator, Crypto Kitties. Look at this guy's <laughs> uh, administrator, co-founder, um, so on and so forth. So I mean, this guy has a decent background too. Um, so he's basically BI Norwegian uh, Business School, Economy and Administration. So that's what he went to school for. Um, and these are the roles that he's held. So management, all that good stuff, uh, co-founder, chief operator, so on and so forth. So again, lot, lots of good information with this guy. Go ahead and you can check out his followers, uh, see who he's following and all that good stuff and kind of see what his mindset is like, right? Because right? you get somebody to follow Warren Buffett, but that's it. It's like, okay, you follow Warren Buffett, but what? who else do you follow? Nobody else? Does that really say that you have goals or is that just saying that you just follow Warren Buffett? Um, again, this guy right here is another one that was part of their team. It doesn't have a photo a little bit off, throws me off a little bit, but like everything else kind of fits together. So it really doesn't matter to me at the end of the day with this one, as long as there's not like multiple instances of this, right? It could just be some uh, lower tier art director, no offense. Um, but you know, this is somebody that they picked up that maybe created a LinkedIn just to have one for the for the uh, actual white paper. Um, he's also got a GitHub, so he's also um, I would assume pretty versed when it comes to uh, coding and setting up things. Uh, in addition to that, we have uh, this Jeffrey Zerlin. 
again, another co-founder in growth. It's, so the, they all seem to be at the Sky Mavis too. So I would be interested in seeing what that is. Um, all these guys from Max's Affinity. And this guy actually went to Yale University, guys. Yale. So if he's over here playing around in this in this pool of uh, of coin, he definitely has some intentions of this thing really doing some some work. So uh, again, you can verify also endorsed uh, skills uh, courses he took, so on and so forth. Um, and then so in addition to that, that would basically be it for the whole look at the team. And now we'll move on to the next portion of what I do to kind of verify and vet the coin. So for the next portion uh, to vet the coin, I would basically come into Google and I would type in the name of the coin. And you're probably like, okay, you type in the name of the coin. Well, if I type in the name of the coin, I can find feeds here. And if I don't find feeds here, guys, I look here under news and I try and see what the latest news is that's relevant to the coin I'm looking at. If there hasn't been news on this coin in three to six months, then it might be questionable whether or not it has the attention it needs to be able to grow. Because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for things that people are interested in, right? If they're interested, it may not be mainstream, but there will be eyes on it, right? Somebody will mention it. Somebody will say something about it. So this is a really good method to utilize and look for news. What else can I do on top of that? Well, I can use what they call Google Trends, guys. So. Google Trends is a whole nother process. And basically right here, Axie's Affinity is what I put in the name and look at that, boom. It's basically depicting that November to December, this thing's gonna explode. But what do you see here? What do you see here? In the US guys. So remember always with Google's Trends, if you wanna see other parts of the world, do worldwide. And what do you notice with worldwide? it's actually starting to trend down. So although it does have attention and it looks like attention may be growing in the US, the spike for interest is actually starting to teeter down a little bit. So always keep that in mind. You can see the biggest volume here is in the Philippines. Venezuela is also looking into the coin. Again, these are countries that, that make next to nothing in revenue. So the money they can make out this thing is insane. Um, what, what else would I look at while I'm here? Well, if I'm looking at Axis Affinity, I also look at related queries, guys. So related topics, related queries, and we can see APK Axie Affinity. So I would probably look to see what that is. This Ronin, Ronin Axie Affinity, Ronin Wallet, Axie Affinity. So I would look into all of that, guys, and try and see, okay, what is the interest in these additionals that they have here? So Philippines Peso, uh, Android operating, marketplace, so on and so forth. You guys get the point. This is a good way to, to find out what's going on with the coin, good way to vet a coin. I hope that all the things that I provided here are, are good quality and help you understand better how to navigate the space and find your own 10 to 100x coin. Until next time, guys, thank you again for stopping by and I'll see you later. I don't wanna feel it So I pull up inside my cup And I just sit till I can't feel it I know it won't solve my problem But I know it makes a difference One more sip and I'ma fix it Out my body when I'm tempted I told her one more She hit me say you quit or she did pain yeah, yeah. I don't want pain no more I don't want no more pain, I ain't gon' see no way Look at that with no pain See the rain coming down but it is not purple today Came a long way from stacking and rolling that change And all I ever wanted was some real love Then the ice hit on my heart, I watched it build up My bro, he stayed with tools, he bopped the build up And I feel like I don't wanna feel it So I pull up inside my cup and I just sip till I can't feel it I know it won't solve my problem, but I know it makes a difference One more sip and I'ma fix it Out my body when I'm tempted I told her one more she hit me say you quit or she did pain yeah. mm. Let me do my thing Got them greens and pinks and blues, I'll give my kids a change 
Don't call me, I sit for none unless you do the same I wanna catch this fast as that, then I don't do no range Yeah All I ever wanted was some millions All I ever wanted was some children Then I got four of them kids and now we chillin' Nothing's real love Feel inside the one I'm feeling So I pour up inside my cup and I just sit till I can't feel it I know it won't solve my problem, but I know it makes a difference One more sip and I'ma fix it Out my body when I'm tempted I told her one more and she hit me, say you quit or she dipping 